Missed. AI is in the air. Interacting with natural language processing, let's see what's available. Overview. We can troubleshoot clients, inspect client events, explore analytics, and investigate site problems. We'll be looking at the MISC corporate network with real clients. First, let's ask what was wrong with client Sujay this week. Note that coverage problems is client specific and time to connect is calling out slow association affecting a small amount of clients. Let's take a look at time to connect. Let's first jump to correlation. This is what makes MIST AI truly unique. Under probable causes, we apply Bayesian inference analysis to identify features with the highest probability of association with the problem occurring on the client. Scope of impact is like pulling the lens out. And then we apply mutual information correlation analysis to rank network features across the entire site by their correlation to good or bad levels of the metric of interest. Let's take a look behind the scenes. We customize our data for a specific client using Bayesian analysis and then use mutual information to rank each feature with respect to its performance in the network. Here are two real examples from our network where the pie chart shows the Bayesian probabilities or ranking for a given client and the bar charts denote ranked mutual information scores across the site to incorporate site level information for each feature class. Back to Sujay, we see as far as clients, he's doing okay at a site level. This watch seems to be one of the worst. He has roamed across most of the APs, including MIST Engineering, which is ranked as one of the worst. He's mainly on five gig, which is good, and he's running iOS 10.3.3, which isn't the best, but also isn't the worst. Note we can rank iOS release performance across our site as well as by client types. We can then take a look at the service levels. And the classifiers will tell us the failure types, here noting that association and DHCP seem to be the problem. Looking at specific events, we can now focus on the bad and note a DHCP stuck event happened, and we're going to pull the dynamic PCAP that was generated automatically when it happened. This is a patented missed feature. Let's now take a look at our office site where throughput has been identified as being the biggest problem. As we look, there seems to be two APs that are a major source of the problem, as well as 2.4 gig, which is of course no surprise. Now let's take a look at the service levels and it makes some sense that the throughput available would drop as people arrive in the office during the course of the day. Now let's see the clients running iOS 11.4, which was recently released. A good amount. How about 11.4 running on the iPhone X? Here, I find my own iPhone and I can see the history of my own software upgrades, SSIDs, VLANs, IP addresses I've used, as well as the APs I've roamed to. How about all the iPhone Xs in the building, regardless of software? Or what WLANs are the iPhone X using? Now let's take a look at events by DHCP. Here I see some rogue DHCP servers in which I'm sure caused some office drama. How about DNS? You can see we use Google. How about getting specific and looking for DHCP init failures from last week? As we investigate one, we can see more information regarding this event. Failure account and server IP, for example. How many clients are running High Sierra, and who are they? What about how many devices does Sujay have? We can see his MacBook Air and his old iPhone. Now, this is the MISQ query language, which is very early in its development. It will try to guide you through as you build your own query. For fun, Let's see how many clients are connected on each channel. Pretty cool, huh? This is just the beginning for Miss Virtual Network Assistant.